Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Navdeen here. You know the drill. If you are a new subscriber, actually, that makes no sense. If you're a new subscriber, you wouldn't know the drill. If you are a new subscriber, come one, come all. And if you are a long time subscriber, you know me love you like cook food. And you know me love my cook food. Let's get into the video. So if you've seen from the title of the video, I'm just decluttering yet a few more perfumes from my collection. Hopefully this is the last decluttering of the year. I feel like over last year I was actually getting to learn my scent taste or whatever. Whereas now I actually am buying perfumes that I really, really, really like. Instead of just something that, hmm, that seems like it's nice, just buying it. And a lot of perfumes were blind buys during COVID. So anyways, so the first one that I'm going to declutter is Max Turquatic. And honestly, this perfume smells nice. But I've had it for a year now. Well, or maybe over a year. Sorry, spraying a piece of paper to smell it. And I haven't worn it. So I just think if I'm not wearing it, it's nice and fresh. See, that's the problem with decluttering. You always smell something that you think, actually, do I want to give this away <laughs> um but i do like it it's fresh it's aquatic and it's not too citrusy i don't like that super zesty smell in my perfumes i don't like anything lemon potent or orange potent i just don't find myself reaching for it i have realized that i'm really a sweet girl <laughs> i mean but i'm a sweet perfume lover like no matter how i try to stray away from it and i'm like oh i'm gonna get things that are unique or i'm gonna get things that not everybody has or whatever yeah no i stick to the crowd pleasers and this perfume just doesn't do anything for me so i find myself reaching for my eros edt versace eros edt during the summer because it's citrusy but it has raspberry in there so i love fruity perfumes and I love the twist on that one and I get compliments from that. This one, I just haven't reached for it. It could also be because I have so many perfumes. So I don't gravitate to obviously the ones that I like the least. I would say if you are someone that don't really love sweet perfumes, this is a really nice, fresh, everyday, on the go perfume to wear. I do think it's unisex. A guy can wear it, a woman can wear it. But yeah, it's just because I grab for it the least. And I love the bottle. I think honestly that's what made me keep it and i only got it in a 20 mil it doesn't excite me and it irritates me to have perfumes in my collection that i'm not using i just feel like it's a clutter i'd rather have a cabinet full of perfumes that i look at and love and can't wait to wear all of them so that's the only reason why i'm decluttering this the next perfume that's up is shiseido zen i really do like this perfume as well but as you can see let me put that cap back on but as you can see it's hardly used hardly used and i've had this also over a year and it's a shame this was my version of um chanel's coco mademoiselle and this is a nice crisp bright floral and this also doesn't lead to citrusy or anything for me the note in this is pineapple so it has a hint of sweetness it's not too tart or anything and it's juicy it's actually very juicy i think i probably would prefer this a little bit more to coco mad and as i said i just tend to reach for my sweeter perfumes i don't get up and feel like oh i want to wear something crisp and fresh but this one is nice and i actually do think it's good to have you know a diverse collection none of my perfumes smell exactly alike the next one that will come of no surprise to you is the fenty eau de parfum by fenty you guys know from my reaction in my first impressions that I did not like that perfume at all on a scale of 1 to 10 it is like a 3 out of 10 and that's not because it stinks it doesn't stink but you know what to be honest I would much prefer it stunk than it to actually do nothing I know that sounds weird but it does not really lean one way or the other. It's as though they had a vision and they put everything into one perfume. It wasn't very green, it wasn't very sweet, it wasn't gourmand, it wasn't 
anything that you can put into a category which now that i'm saying that out loud actually sounds like a genius thing that it could kind of cover every aspect of a perfume because i think a lot of people pick up woody as well it's also spicy for some people it's also sweet it's also airy it's also citrusy it's also musky like it sounds like everything i actually from the bottle thought that it would smell something similar to kiali's invite only amber and that's just judging it by the bottle which is silly of course you can't think that a perfume would smell a certain way just by how the bottle looks but you know how human brains think we hope it smells similar to whatever vibe the bottle is giving off but the fenty perfume smells similar to a liquid detergent to me my hand washing liquid detergent fairy or whatever they have and it is like a bergamot scented one so it would be green that's what it smells like to me for what rihanna's perfume was going for i felt like it should have leaned towards these kind of smells i really like 51 and this is very effervescent and it is green as well and it has a similar note that the Rihanna perfume has, but it's like so potent and it's almost as that is the focus in this perfume. That it smells so good and this perfume smells expensive to me. It is a bergamot leaning perfume, but it's done very well. This perfume knows what it wants to be. This smells musky, citrusy, earthy, green, fresh, expensive, deep, but airy. I feel like it's to be a crowd pleaser perfume, like it's made not to upset anyone the perfume has multiple personalities and i don't like that pick one or pick a few and make them prominent the next thing i'm getting rid of is dng's toilet Vernatrice. i've mentioned this before i think in the perfume in the video where my mom was sniffing my perfumes like it just makes me feel nauseous and it smells like gone off fruits to me now it smells just like how i described it in the first video when i really liked it of it smelling like an infused water but the fruits have gone off that infused water has been sitting there for a while maybe it's my bottle that has actually gone off i don't know but it just yeah it don't, did i buy it from ebay i don't know where i bought it from it don't smell good no more to me i don't want it yeah i also decluttered m one of my moschino go fresh couture i still have the mini version because i own two so I haven't been reaching for this recently, but I do love this smell, so I'm happy to keep the little one in my collection. And unfortunately, I can't see how much I used up of the other one. So I really don't even know if that was almost finished or what. I wore it a lot, but I decluttered that one to my mom. I, I kind of was on the fence about it, but I said it's been sitting there for a while. And I want to make room for other perfumes that I love and I'm looking forward to having. So I kept this baby because I still have the body wash and everything for it and it's nice, effervescent, it's fruity and sweet, citrusy. This is just a really nice take on effervescence. I really love effervescent perfumes but it does have to have something sweet in there else it's just going to smell just too crisp and fresh on me and I don't like just crisp and fresh perfumes. So I'm happy to keep this but I'm happy to let go of the bigger bottle. The next two perfumes that I'm going to quickly skim through are two perfumes that was in my recent fragrance haul i've actually had them for a few months now but i just did a collective fragrance haul which is why i've just recently shown you them but i'm talking about the kkw times jeff lethem collab and i got rid of jasmine air and desert rose and i kept night iris so i got rid of those both because one of them smelled similar to alien to me not as expensive or not as quality i guess that's saying the same thing but it did kind of remind me of alien and i don't like alien so i got rid of that one it was very effervescent and i guess it would be nice for those who like alien but if you like alien you just get alien right why would you get that one and also they don't last long they perform pretty bad as far as i remember like you don't smell them projecting they don't linger it almost performs like a body spray they just look cute cute packaging and everything the jasmine air smells a little bit more fresher it has blood orange in the top notes and it's a little sweet it's fruity it's also effervescent it smells really soft really light it's an easy wear easy everyday 
you know grab and go kind of perfume going to the shop but even when i'm going to the shop that's not the perfume that i would reach for i would actually reach for my kiali musk or my ariana grande cloud or thank you next because they actually last and even though i'm grabbing something to just wear to the shop i still want to smell it so but that one is a pretty scent i did think it was pretty but my sister smelled it and she liked it and she wanted it so why keep it in my collection if it's something that i'm not wearing might as well give it well, she sold it to <laughs> we did a trade-off we did a trade-off don't look at me like that yeah she's my sister but we did a trade-off okay if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i hope you stick around for some other videos and i'll see you in the next one bye